How's it going guys? We're back with another EU4 video. Uh, this one's just a quick update on where the series is and where the series is going. Um, I'm going to talk about what my next campaign is going to be because I ran a poll in my Discord. Uh, I will share a link. There should be a link on my channel, but I'll share a link in the description anyway to my Discord and also my Twitch stream. Um, so I wanted to just share what my next campaign is going to be. Um, I'm going to turn that down just a touch gets to that point in the song and suddenly it's really loud it's really quiet at the beginning um so i did a poll in the discord but first before we get on to the next video and that excitement first thing is the uh, england to great britain campaign um it's going to be stopping um i actually recorded another like four or so parts um but i haven't got around to editing them yet but the issue is that that campaign was far too long i've actually learned a lot about the whole process through making that campaign it was kind of my first ambitious should we say like a youtube series and also this mod is a lot longer than i realized it was the time the, the amount of time it takes to tick each uh, each hour and each day is different to what i thought it was um so my first two campaigns 1444 to 1507 uh, my first couple videos that actually for me was about 20 hours worth of recording for like 60 minutes of video so that was really inefficient and then the next couple of videos i decided to shorten down my recording sessions uh, and in order to shorten down the videos, but that just meant that it was like videos every 10 years in game, which wasn't efficient at all. So that campaign was far too long. So we're going to, I'm going to end that campaign plus all the issues I had at the beginning with the mod changing and having to restart. And so I'm going to cancel that campaign and that's going to come back later on the Great Britain campaign. It's quite an ambitious campaign anyway. It's conquering most of the world. It's by far the biggest nation I could have chosen to do. So we're going to be coming back to that at a later date. That campaign will still be available to watch for the time being. But once the uh, historical E4 sort of playlist is more filled up with different campaigns, um, that one will probably be becoming private and coming away from, uh, from public viewing um, in place of preparing for me making a new one. Um, which will be my main Britain campaign. Um, but I did do a poll in the Discord, and it turns out it's going to be Japan. We're doing Daimyo to Japan. I haven't picked a Daimyo yet. And I also learned there's basically two types of gamers, two types of EU4 fans and history fans. And it's basically Japan fans and Prussia fans. There's nothing else out there. You're either a weeb or a Prussia boo. There's nothing else in between. And I get it. I get it. Because they are both very similar in concept of that, that disciplined smaller nation exhorting way more power than it should right um, i haven't picked which daimyo i'm going to play it will be japan next a lot of these daimyos played a massive part in the unification of japan uh, tokugawa i believe was the final player to the piece who ascended power i believe i'm a bit sketchy on my japanese history um, but oda for a long time held the mantle of uh, shogun and played a big part i think uh, hosokawa also played a massive part um, so I'm going to pick one that I think seems right. One of the major, probably major three or four players, Oda, Tokugawa, Hosokawa, and so on. Um, and whichever one makes sense. Um, but that will be my next campaign. Prussia did uh, come second in the poll, but that doesn't mean Prussia will be my second playthrough. I am going to do another poll for my next playthrough. Uh, because there's some nations I didn't add on the poll that I did want to add. and I, They slipped my mind. Um, so I will be doing another poll, so do join the Discord if you do want to have more of a say in the future uh, of this series. But yeah guys, that's it for now. Uh, Japan is next. We're going to do traditional peacetime Japan, a mixture of traditional Japan and Imperial um, uh, Jap Japan. Um, so it's going to be, basically we're going to be doing Japan, Sakhalin, Manchuria, Korea, and a bunch of Micronesian islands. Um, and um, Pacific Islands, as is Japan, uh, as was J Japanese during peacetime in the 1930s, um, or at least 1937-ish, um, when Japan sort of had sort of cemented control over more of more of the Chinese territories, but was still at peace with China as a whole. Um, I'm not going to count any of the occupied territories in Southeast Asia and uh, Siam and stuff like that. I should, 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 sorry, should say Thailand, actually. Um, and I'm not going to be too nitpicky because stuff like the islands here, the Mariana, Mariana Islands, um, obviously Guam is the most major island in this chain, but obviously Japan did have uh, islands here as well. So I'm just going to take the whole island group because they're connected. I can't take one and not the other of these tiny little islands. So that's the next campaign. Hope you guys have enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.